Hello, this is Ben94Z here again today, guys, and I've got a nice video for you today, and it's showing you my, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but Sayokai, um, uh, solar ch USB charger. So, in here we've got a little LED, which will indicate if there's sunlight or not. Uh, get that in the sun. Of course, if you're in the dark, it's not going to emit. There is no internal uh, battery storage here, but I do have some gear with me today. This is a uh, a watt and volt meter that displays through LEDs, and I've got this connected up to my lithium power bank here. And I just thought I'd quickly plug this in. Let's see if this is the right way around. Yep. Okay. Nope, oh, they're in. And she seems to be charging. Uh, as you can see here, it says in. And that's going. Let's have a look at the USB voltmeter. Not sure if you can read this. Okay. It looks a little bit funny on the camera recording, but at the top there it says 4.89, and at the bottom it's 4.75 ish. I mean, sorry, is that 4? No, 9.6. I mean, 0.96, sorry, down the bottom. It's a little bit bright. So, um, next up, I'll show you guys my Raspberry Pi running off this lithium battery once it's fully charged. The current time is 8.51, and uh, I'll be back when this is charged and I'll keep a close eye on this you now as soon as it hits 100% uh, I'll pretty much note down how long it took from that point to charge there you can kinda guess how much the sun's gonna be charging these sorts of things but uh, just bear in mind uh, I'm in Australia here and the sun the UV rays are really great in this country um, so it, it really depends where your location is and everything like that and the time of the day. Okay, the time is 12.45 and she's finished charging, so I'm about to take her inside. Hey folks, Ben Eiffel Z back here again. And we're actually running on Raspberry, Raspberry Pi now, and we're running Raspbian. I, if you saw the power there, it's drained a little because I just installed a few lines of sudo uh, installs through terminal. I'll leave those um, lines of code in the description if you want to get Jim and Blender running on your Raspberry Pi. Let's go ahead and open up um, Blender as a test. By the way, I did a little guesstimation um, on the power consumption and it was about one or two percent drainage on the battery every 10 or 15 minutes so you could probably potentially get up to five ten hours after charging your solar battery for about four hours and it looks like we're in blender but it may look a little bit iffy now I'm thinking this is probably because the graphics card for Raspberry Raspberry Pi isn't the greatest. It's something made uh, for simple games, simple 3D. But the good news is we're still able to 3D model. And would you look at that? It's a little, it's a little bit laggy, but I'm still able to use my keyboard and use all these um, editing things for modeling. Let's go into tab and let's just demonstrate how we can still edit. Now, as I said, it's a little bit delayed, so please bear with me. Uh, select the top face. Let's go extrude. 
scale 0.5. Oops, uh, there we go. Let's scroll down a little and push this up a bit. Oh, would you look at that? Um, let's try and add, add an edge loop down here. Yep, yeah, we've got our edge loops adding. Click, click. So my guess is 3D modeling on the Raspberry is all a go-ahead, except it's a little bit delayed, which probably isn't recommended. I'm trying to select an edge loop with alt, but I'm not sure if it's working or not. The keyboard methods on the Raspbian OS is a little bit different. Um, let's just see if I can shift collect, select these faces. Oh, well, at least I can shift select these. Let's go extrude again and scale minus the z axis 0.5. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working. Anyways, let's go to scale 0.5. Well, that seems to be working. Oh, it looks. It seems as though it processed a little bit longer there. What's going on? Maybe those two faces made. Nope. Let's try that again. Extrude. Enter. Scale. Shift. Z. Point five. It's freaking out. It's so slow, so scale shift Z 0.5. There you go. So probably best to just use it how you normally would use Blender, but just give it a little moment to process because it's on a smaller processor. Um, so we've got the extrusions working. We've got all that. Let's try and play with uh, the vertices as long as we can play with the vertices. Uh, it, it's all it's all good. It's all good for modeling, I guess. All right, and just to be a little bit of a show off, I'm gonna add Susie to the top of this. Suzanne, good old Susie. She never lets me down. Okay, now as you can see, she's like a monument or something like that, a monument. Let's go ahead and file save this blend file just to show you guys that the test is working. That you can edit on 3D with the Raspberry, uh, the Raspberry 3. Let's go ahead and open a new file so you know it's not just loading the same file. New file. I think this is quite amazing that I can edit in 3D on the Raspberry Pi running off a solar charge. That's my damn new file. Control N, reload star file, yes. Alright, now well, let's go Control O and open Untitled from the Dusky, the desktops. Yep, and um, what do you know? It's there. Okay, let's go Alt F4 and go ahead and test out GIMP. Now GIMP or GIMP is a lot more designed for the Raspberry than Blender is because Blender is a 3D application. Um, of course, it's going to be a lot more intensive on the CPU and the graphics card. So let's go 500 by 500, create a new image. Yeah. 
And it seems as though Jim's working as well. Let's go ahead and save that just to be sure. Alright, and there we have it. I believe that saved away nice and quickly. And I think Raspberry Pi is definitely fit for Gemp, but not something like Blender. Oh, damn, I'm opening up Blender file. Frick. So, that went to Documents. This one. Yep, seems to be working nice and fine. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching this video, and also I'd like to mention uh, Tristan Creates is doing an automation tutorial for Twitter and using Raspberry, or, or Raspberry Pi, he's actually using Ubuntu Mate, uh, Ubuntu Mate, uh, which is the same. Any Linux platform that tutorial should work for. If you want to go ahead and learn Twitter automation with bots and scripting and stuff, Python scripting, go ahead and click the video I've provided on the screen to Tristan's tutorial here. Thanks again for watching, guys. See ya.